Hey guys, uh, today we're going to draw our first uh, simple character in Blender using the 2D animation features. Um, this is Blender when you start it up. Uh, all you have to do is choose 2D animation and I'm going to middle mouse click control to zoom out. Uh, and we're going to draw our first character here um, and we're going to start. But the first thing I want to do before we start is create a new layer uh, and a new layer you create it by going to the stroke here up uh, this has to be selected go into its properties and this is the layers panel of course you can see the layers down here in the timeline as well so let's go ahead and click the plus button to create a new layer here it is double click on the name so we can uh, rename it sketch layer return and I'm going to move that layer down all the way to the bottom uh, using these uh, up and down white arrows. There it is. There's our sketch layer. I'm going to select my uh, pencil tool and up here select a pencil. And then um, I like drawing with this red stroke uh, just to separate it from um, the ink stroke. The Command Z to undo that. The radius is obviously the thickness of the stroke. For example, this is 500. I'm going to keep it at uh, 25. And then the strength is how strong it is. Uh, I'm going to just take it all the way to 1. Uh, and so and I'm going to just start drawing on the sketch layer. Uh, start sketching out some ideas. Uh, I know that I want, I, I know that I want him to stand more or less. We'll put a floor on there and we'll put a middle, a center line. Oops, a little too wiggly. A center line. And then I'm going to start by uh, drawing the head. Uh, maybe the uh, torso. And, and then the, uh, the legs. And then the arms, and and this is just this this is just uh, boxes, and I'm gonna do another box right here, uh, a little narrower towards the the end. Very very simple. Oop. Undo undo. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this a little bit towards here, because remember I I wanna I'll make this from from thickest here at the shoulder to thinnest here at the uh, at the wrist uh, a neck a neck and then and then the 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 hand the hand I want to do uh, maybe like a circle so that I can see the size um, the the um, bottom of the pants and then the shoe Just something like that. Very simple. We're going to keep this character very simple so that we can get get it done um, quickly. Uh, not complicate things. Just marry, maybe a very simple character. Let's start with the head. Um, so shift middle mouse and then control middle mouse to zoom up and down. And um, let's give him some eyes. Let's give him a mouth, a little nose, and some eyebrows. Uh, let's give him some ears. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to give him some sideburns, and then I'm going to do the hair kind of like this. He's a cartoon character, so he's got a big hair, like that. Uh, and then the side of the head. like that and then the other side uh, like this and like this uh, basically that's all I'm gonna do maybe give them a, a collar with a V this is the collar and like that and this like that and then give them a couple uh, let's draw the hands 
and then I'm gonna do very simple hands guys very very simple cartoony hands I'll do the thumb I'll give them I'll give them about four fingers and that's it again here I'll do the thumb and then the I guess this is the pinky the index and then the middle finger right there um, I could tuck his shirt in and then give him a, a belt it's up to you guys all right uh, I've got my my sketch layer done and I'm gonna go ahead and, and lock it so that I can't mess with it anymore um, and then go to my lines layer pick an ink I'm gonna start inking now pick an ink pen and then I'm gonna do a, a black stroke so that way now I can start inking I've got my black ink stroke and then I, I now I can start uh, inking so this is the inking process you go you go over the sketch uh, I'm gonna show you um, during the inking process if your um, your hand is not that steady um, you can always go to the draw mode. I mean, I'm sorry the sculpt mode and there is a smooth brush and Then you can smooth these out by going over it And it'll smooth it out. It's almost straight and I can sit here and uh, Go over it and over it till it's straight uh, but even if you don't have the the I'm going to go to edit mode, select this, and then hit the delete key, delete stroke. Uh, and so even if you don't have the smoothest uh, hand, draw, uh, that's okay. You can either uh, do what I did and, and start over, or you can smooth it out with the um, sculpt mode, smooth. Uh, and you can do it as you draw or uh, uh, when you finish you can smooth out all the all the details uh, I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna do this all the way to here and then I'm going to do the ear erase that make it a little bit smaller uh, do this do this and by all means you can correct anything that you see uh, wrong right there there's my, there's the head there's the face we're keeping it simple we're keeping it very simple uh, because we want to again draw this in a hurry and not make it too complicated because we're gonna be drawing this character over and over and over um, over the length of many many frames so I am going to uh, scroll up continue to draw the neck the collar oh, oops and then the arm And it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, nothing is perfect, right? Uh, everything has little little odds and ends and stuff. And and so I'm gonna do the collar. I'm gonna do the collar this way, and then this way, and then this way, and then this way. There we go. I am. I decided I am gonna put a. Uh, uh, a belt see and I'm just going to do a uh, a square continue on with the drawing I'm going to go all the way to the bottom all the way to the bottom and then from the hip all the way to the bottom
and then I'm gonna do the pants just a little rounded and then the shoes oops maybe like that maybe like that and then and then the hands and then that's it we'll be done with this uh, shift middle mouse to move there 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 and then there very simple all you want to do is uh, get the point across and maybe that's too much make it simple enough that you're gonna be able to draw this uh, for lots of frames let me look at it uh, see And there we have it. We have our, our main character done inked. We, we did the sketch lines. Uh, we did the ink lines. And now let's do the fills. Uh, let me explain how the fills work. I'm going to go to my fills layer. And I'm going to lock the uh, line layer. I'm going to turn off the sketch layer. And let's work in the fills layer. So the fill, uh, any, any of the drawing tools except you're going to use in the materials instead of a stroke you're going to use a solid fill and a solid fill is anything you draw instead of instead of drawing a stroke like oops like this um, you're going to draw a, a fill like this so it'll it'll fill in this instead of giving you a stroke a man z and then so that's what we're going to use but uh, I noticed that the, the color, the vertex color here is green and, and I'm drawing in gray. Uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to turn on vertex paint and now I have this available to me. Um, so um, just be careful that if you use some color, any color, you know which color it is because you might want to use it. For instance, if you're going to do the face in this color and then the hands or whatever you need to use the same color so I'm gonna use this color for the skin I'm gonna zoom in control middle mouse shift middle mouse to move it and then start drawing remember this is a solid fill and whatever I do it's going to fill in that area Command Z. So you don't have to be super accurate, but you follow, you want to follow the line. And the cool thing is that if you mess up, for example, I, I messed up right there, I could fix it with the sculpt mode, but the move tool. I mean the push tool. So in this case, what I'd like to do is is push it into place if you ever need to uh, adjust your fill you could do it with the sculpt brush go back to draw mode um, fill in the ears the neck You don't have to be super accurate. You can adjust the fill with the sculpt tool. Uh, we're going to um, we're going to paint the hair. The hair could be any color. Um, we'll pick a. this red remember that if you go off you can always come back and fix it with the sculpting tool I went out I went out a little bit there uh, and I can always 
put it back into place. All right, back to draw mode. That's the only thing I'm gonna do red. The shirt, I may want some kind of green color. There's my shirt. Uh, the belt, let's give him a, a brown belt. We'll pick this, this brown. The buckle, let's do like a, like a golden, it's gold buckle, there we go. The pants, let's do like a, uh, a uh, blue and I'm following along the line again you don't have to be super accurate you can always go back and uh, um, adjust it just like I'm doing in the sculpt mode get the push brush and push it right into place where else? Right there. Uh, and I guess that's that's all. Go back to draw mode. And then finally, guys, the shoes. The home key uh, zooms out all the way. Uh, and there we go. Um, I wanted to add maybe just a little bit of highlights in the eyes. Uh, and so I'm gonna grab a white. And I'm just gonna do a little white. A little, oh, the fills are, I have to do it on the lines. Uh, I do have, because the uh, fill is behind the lines. So that's okay, I can do it on the lines. And there it is. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, lock that back up and hit the home key. And there's our character. Uh, in the next video, we'll add some highlights and uh, some shadows. And then in the final video, we'll add a background to this uh, character. Okay, thank you. We'll see you in the next video.